Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Friday News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Phantoms' second game against the Wilkesbury Scran Penguins, the Baby Penguins. They were able to beat, excuse me, our Lehigh Valley Phantoms yesterday, unfortunately, in a 4-2 to score. Excuse me, that is the score I actually predicted in my Flyers preview video, if you want to check that out. The Flyers to uh, win two today. They're up 3 nothing. so now I'm hoping that's not the score, and they're actually able to get a shutout. But this is going to be a preview to the Phantoms. The Phantoms obviously need to be able to cover Lozat and Drogues of the Wilkesbury Scranton and Penguins better. And obviously Felix Robert as well, who's an undrafted rookie from the queue, who seems like he might end up being a half-decent fine for the Penguins. You do not have a very solid farm system. Pauline's the best guy in their farm system. And uh, he's not going to obviously make an impact right away. It's not like he's a McDavid-esque guy. He's just a pretty solid player that's going to have the potential to be a solid NHL piece. But... The Flyers have the much better form system and the better form hand. Uh, they're a team that sh they should be able to beat tonight. I know they're going to be mad from yesterday's game. Uh, they came off of a win that they were able to fight for in overtime against Binghampton on Wednesday and then unfortunately did not be able to push for a comeback but showed a good push in last night's game late in the game. So I'm looking for the Phantoms to really come out strong back in Lehigh tonight in this game and really put forth a great performance. Um, I look for Fitzgerald, who's been pretty good. Kevin Hayes' cousin, for people that don't know. All season, Kosh is back down there. LeBurge has looked solid in his two games thus far. Um, he has a goal, obviously, in his first game. He was able to put in a goal against Binghampton, so that was huge. So it's good to see him get going. He's a player that people still got to believe in. Look how good Jay O'Brien's doing in Boston right now. And LeBurge was able to score in his first game. He just had injuries. It takes different prospects, different time to get ready. Heck, if the guy's not ready until his mid-20s, he's still going to be a great guy for you. He's 22 now. You have a lot of guys that are already good, consistent forwards in the NHL. It's not like you need him to rush, so there's no reason not to be patient with Pascal LeBurge, in my opinion. But Tyson Forster also um, has one game under his belt. It seems like he might end up uh, getting put in the lineup tonight, and obviously it's fun and great to see him. He got injured, but... Um, it's lovely to see him when he's able to play. I think he's going to be, no pun intended, but a force. I love his game. I love games that are kind of old school. He's a bigger kid at only 19 years old that's going to get a chance to impress as an underager just like Wisdom. And I don't know how Wisdom scored that goal yesterday. He was getting fought off from behind and still made a nasty move. I mean, that was absolutely ridiculous. But Forster, I think, is going to be a great pick. And Wisdom's going to be a great pick out of the same draft. It seems like the Flyers just continue to draft them really well to give the Phantoms great guys. Hogberg, another good defenseman that they were able to draft a couple years ago. And then Tanner lozinski has been good since coming in. He's great on the forecheck. Always is getting the puck off for people's sticks. Uh, Millman's been pretty good. Obviously, Willman's been amazing. Uh, Shusko's just a dead-eye shooter. Strom's been pretty good as well. But I look for Wisdom and Willman to be the deciding factors. Again, they've been carrying this team since Willman was able to get his first goal. It's just been guns blazing since. And I look for him to continue to do well. I look for Zade Wisdom to continue to do great. It seems like Sandstrom might end up getting the start tonight. So we'll see what he's able to do. He did good in the preseason against the Baby Pens, but he hasn't played since. So we'll have to see what he's able to do. He's a good goaltender. But you need to be able to have some steady action and obviously some action in general as a goaltender. You have to develop a routine. And obviously he hasn't been able to do that, not being in and being up on the taxi scrub. But we'll see what he's able to do. But I will think that the Phantoms are going to be able to win this game 3-1 to one against the Baby Penguin. They'll beat them 3-1 to one after they lost 4-2 to two last night. And Sandstrom will have a good comeback start if he does get in. If not, Mack will just continue his success this season, in my opinion. And we'll have Wisdom, Willman, and I'm going to put in, I would say, Fitzgerald as the other player of the game. A good AHL veteran that just gets it done as Kevin Hayes' cousin. And then, obviously, Sandstrom's just a default guy. If he's in, he's going to get it done. If Max's still in, he's going to get it done. But I believe it is going to be Sandstrom tonight. So this has been the ghostly take, a preview to the Wilkesbury, Scranton Penguins, and Lehigh Valley Phantoms game that I believe the Phantoms are going to be able to take 3-1 to one due to great play by Willman, Wisdom, Fitzgerald, Kasha, and all the great others on the team, including Strom. I love the Stroms, and hopefully Matthew's going to be able to pan out, and I think he is. He's the most physical of the bunch. So keep a lookout for Matthew Strom as he makes his way to the NHL 
a year or two down the line, potentially, maybe a cup of coffee this year. We'll see. But have a great and safe day, pl- safe, pleasant day. Excuse me, everyone. As this has been the Ghostly Take on Sports Fanatic News, I'm Projo. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know what else you want us to talk about relating to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Peace out, everybody.